Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a world of clear water, soft sand, and seals. This is Cape Town, South Africa. With the country being one of the biggest economies on the continent, Cape Town has arguably the most developed urban center in all of Africa. Since our interview wasn't until the next day, we went to do some sightseeing around this beautiful city. What do you call the mountain? Table? Table mountain. Table mountain. Oh, table mountain. Wow. So it does look like a table. Yeah. It's very flat on top. This is Adam our trusty, helpful local companion. That's kind of the shot I was talking about. Are we going to go underneath the rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy, you can get so close to see where the rainbow starts. Yeah. Right? right it goes all the way and ends right there. He taught us a cool South African English slang, bro. It basically means bro, but it sounds closer to the Afrikaans word for bro, which goes something like bro. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So Afrikaans is the dollar language of Dutch. It was invented by the early European settlers in South Africa. There are baboons here? Uh, along the mountains, sometimes they come down. <laughs> This country has an age-old wine industry. This dirt road I was walking on was built in 1685 as part of this vineyard. An interesting fact, these oak trees were brought by their European owner to make wine barrels. However, what the man did not foresee was how fast these trees could grow under the African sun. Therefore, the wood from these oak trees was not nearly dense enough to make solid barrels, so they're basically useless. Are these like village, like within the city? What's also interesting about this city is the juxtaposition of rich and poor. Right out of the airport, you'll pass an area of these informal settlements, called a township. During the apartheid era, black people were evicted from properties in areas designated as white only, and forced to move into segregated townships. However, this one is mostly made up of tribal people from other parts of South Africa who came to Cape Town hoping to make a better living. There are several of these townships across Cape Town and they're getting bigger and bigger. 2017 was a difficult year for South Africa, with the country's currency falling and food prices rising. Part of our mission there was to see how Chinese companies are faring in the South African market. Electronics maker Hisense is the number one seller of TV sets nationwide. South Africa has an unemployment rate of 27%. Job opportunities at this industrial park are valuable to this local community, which is far away from the urban areas. The country has a strong young workforce. People under the age of 35 account for 70% of the total population. Of the 3,000 employees here, 90% are local residents. So this concludes our experience in Cape Town. In the next episode, we venture deep into one of the townships in South Africa's biggest city, Johannesburg. Do stay tuned for the next video because it only gets more interesting. <laughs>